Hey guys, this is Balu from Balu Prime and once again welcome you all back for an exciting tutorial. In this tutorial I will show you how to model a cup and let up break it into small pieces using Blender easily. So hope you guys will find this tutorial useful but before going to that if you end up liking this video please click on that like button do share this content and if you are new to this channel consider subscribing my channel and support me. And by the way if you like short 3D simulation videos you can check out my second channel link in the description. So now without any further ado let's start today's video. So here you can see I'm using Blender 3.1 nice. So first of all let's select everything in this default scene by pressing A on the keyboard and delete. So now let's start this by modeling our cup. So go to this add mesh select cylinder here. So come to this cylinder options and let me reduce this vertices to 12, 12 is fine. Now select this cylinder press Z, Z hold control key and move it upwards so that it stays on the grid here okay so now being selected this cylinder press tab on the keyboard for edit mode change this to face selection select this above face now press e for extrude and press s for scaling and reduce the scaling here so this will be the thickness so i think this much of thickness is fine let me change this to extra vision now so press e once again and bring it down here so this is the depth of the cup so i think this is fine and now disable this extra vision now let's see how we can add handle to this mug or cup so control r and add few edge loops here by scrolling the wheel mouse key and left mouse click to confirm them okay so after that again change this to face selection let me select this face here and select this face here and press e on the keyboard and extrude this here like this. so this is the handle so now press tab on the keyboard press 7 for top view let's align this cup slightly so let's rotate this one hold shift key for smooth rotation so this is fine okay so after that press tab for edit mode being selected these faces or else select the faces here press delete and delete those faces now change this to vertices mode select this below to vertices and also this above to vertices here select this move tool and push them backward here like this fine so now select all the vertices change this to edge selection right click and select this bridge edge loops so now we got our handle so now let's add some bevels so hold alt key and select this edge to select all the edges hold shift key now and select this edge now press ctrl plus b and add edge loop here use scroll mouse to add some edge loops in between okay so now let's select this inner layer sorry inner edge so alt key select the edge in the same way add bevel control b and let me add bevel here and also let me select this edge here hold alt key to select all the edges control b and here let me add another loop cut okay so now press tab to exit edit mode so now being selected this cup come to this modifier options add modifier and add subdivision surface okay and levels view let me increase this to two so this is looking a bit weird so let's fix that one so again press tab to edit mode ctrl plus r and add an edge loop here move the edge loop here like this and let me bring it above okay so that we'll get this shape now let's add another edge loop here and bring it here okay so now press tab to exit this edit mode right click and shade smooth so now you can say we got our cup ready so now let's add or apply this modifier so now our cup is ready now let's see how we can break this cup into small pieces so let's bring this cup here just about to this grid and let me rotate this here a bit so in order to break this cup into small pieces we need to enable self fracture add-on that comes with the blender itself so in order to enable that one go to this edit options preferences in add-ons look for cell so by default this will be unchecked enable it save those preferences after that 
select the object that you want to break into small pieces so here i want to break this cup into small pieces so select the cup come to this object quick effects and select this cell fracture so from here this source limit indicates the number of pieces we want so by default this is set to 100 so i will change this to 25 so after that i want all the pieces in a collection so come to the scene selection and just add a name so let me add as cup pieces okay so this will be scene collection and now hit ok so here you can see we got the pieces created in this collection so let me hide out this so this is the main cup so let me rename this to main cup so let's hide out this for time being don't delete this one we need this one so hide it out so now select any of the piece here in the cup come to this physics property add rigid body so type let it be active and rest and all i will leave like that only so now if i play this the piece which we have added this property will be falling down so now we need to add a colliding object here so as to avoid this piece fall down to infinity so i will add a plane press s and increase the scaling and for this object also we need to add rigid body so select the plane add rigid body type let it be passive now so now if i play this you can see it will be colliding with the plane nice so now we need to copy this rigid body property to rest of the pieces so select the piece for which we have added the rigid body first after that press b for box selection and select the rest of the pieces come to this object rigid body and select this copy from active so now if i play this you can see we got our desired effect done but these pieces are a bit sliding so select the plane come to the surface response and let me increase the friction value so that these pieces will not move for okay nice this is fine so here you can see we are finding these visible cracks here so now in order to hide them we will be using our main cup so if i enable this main cup select the main cup here come to this modifier options add modifier and add this solidify modifier here and thickness let me increase this to minus 0.1 so now you can see we are not finding the cracks here but if i play this the main cup will be staying in its position so you may think we can add again this rigid body property onto this main cup and it will fall but that will not work out so let me show you why so if i select the main cup here come to this physical property and if i add rigid body so type let it be active and now if i play this you can see all the particles will be exploding so this doesn't work here so let me disable this rigid body for time being now and let me hide out this main cup so select any of the piece here and later select rest of the pieces now come to this object rigid body and here we got this break to keyframes option just click on that and it will ask for start and end frame so if you want to have the simulation for only 200 frames you can change it here so i will leave this to 1 to 250 so simply click on this ok button so here you can see we got this keyframes so this animation or simulation is now in the keyframes okay so now we can bring back our main cup so we are not finding the cracks here now and now we can add this rigid body physics so being selected this main cup add rigid body type let it be active and now if i play this you can see we got our thing done but here we need to hide our cup in viewport and render after this impact so let's find out at what frame the impact is happening so at 25th frame the cup is shattering into pieces so beyond this 24th frame select the main cup make sure our main cup is selected come to this object properties come to this visibility options expand this one and add a keyframe for viewport and render so now move one frame forward that is 25th frame disable this viewport option and render visibility and add a keyframe once again so now if i play this you can see we got our desired effect done 
So in this way we can model a cup and later break it into small pieces in Blender very easily. So hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial. If you have learned anything new, please like, share and subscribe my channel to support me. So we'll meet in the next video. Until then signing off. Take care. Bye.